President Putin recently said on his yearly speech he gave the other day, warning the French, if you invade our country, we do the same thing to you as we did in 1812. In the June of 1812, French army was 600,000 strong, and they did a big mistake. They invaded Ukraine, not Ukraine, Mother Russia, and they marched to Moscow, which of course what the Russians did is uh, burn the farms and move all the peasants east. with all the livestock, any livestock, any, as, as the, uh, uh, when moving 600,000 men, uh, what did it come with was, was a lot of food because they expected to loot the farms. And uh, Putin said, well, our army defeated you. Actually, no. What defeated them was cold weather, Russian cold weather. Uh, similar to what happened to the Germans when they invaded, we're going to Moscow, we're going to Stalingrad. <clears throat> they invaded with spring outfits, summer outfits. Back to the French in 1812. 600,000 men really had no problem. Well, <coughs> lack of food was a big problem. They couldn't get enough. They couldn't get enough food to feed their men. And they wound up killing, basically eating their horses. It's the winter that really did damage. For some, I guess, for being cheap, Napoleon, who basically made sure that when they started marching, well, you guys are well-fed, well-equipped, and everything else. The first night they got into Russia, well, maybe, maybe different, but Mother Nature does one thing. First night, one day it's 70 degrees out, and the next day it's 30 degrees out, and then the next day after that it's 20 degrees, and then it's zero. What's what's the problem? Um, clothing. The um, well, they weren't prepared for a Russian winter. No one's prepared for a Russian winter. As I said, temperature drops rather quickly. Really drops. Well, the average French soldiers were wearing uniform with tin buttons, these little buttons, tin, not brass, tin. That's the big difference. Brass is made up of tin and copper, but you have put in too much tin. Uh, when tin gets cold, it becomes brittle. And you have your soldiers, the French soldiers out there, and literally, when the temperature dropped, the tin buttons, they were mostly tin, crumbled. Ooh, that's one of the bad things about tin. And that's been known, was known for centuries. So you can imagine what happened when people try to keep their, their shirts buttoned or their pants buttoned or their coats button. There's no buttons. By December 1st of 1812, the French army went from 600,000 to, they said, less than 10,000. Huh? How is that possible? 
Well, their coats, basically, you couldn't button their coats. No staplers. And if you're not prepared for a rush at window winter by bundling up, you're going to freeze your little butt off. And that's what happened. No food. Poor sanitation. Uh, lack of proper shelter. Because the Russians burned everything as they were leaving. They burned the farms. Bill. And that time, at that time, you got to understand that landlords ran everything and they said, burn everything. So the peasants did what we were told. Uh, they burned everything. Did they try to fight? Oh, they didn't really have to fight. Mother Nature did the fight, fighting for them. Killed them off. That's one of the things that Putin should remember. If you're going to send a French, if you, the French soldiers are going to go into Ukraine and fight in the winter time, they're going to be dressed for it. There's a whole different thing. Even now, uh, you have to. The Russians have to carry big coats with them because it can be 70 one day and 30 degrees the next, especially in the springtime. Did there was a, a thing during the Cold War on a Russian thing? No soldiers was allowed to get frostbite, or they would be executed. So you kept your feet warm, you kept your hands warm, you kept your head warm. Yes, because. Oh yeah, in the West, while well, they can get you know, frostbite. In the East, it was a death sentence. You would be shot if you got frostbite. Because <sighs> they won't, they wouldn't treat you. I mean, this you said you're you're that stupid. Yeah. <sighs> and of course, Putin always just says, "We're going to start a nuclear war." Oh, you just told France you're going to start a nuclear war. Hmm, no more Moscow. Then you won't have to worry about your army, would you? What what will be attacked? Uh, nuclear power plants, bases, airports, and uh, he said it would be the end of the world. Well, end of your world. Moscow would be gone. 